New is Lattice, Best Rock First. It is right here on Quick Rock. Yes, that is Thousand Foot Crutch and Push. It is all part of today's edition, your Friday edition of the Quick Rock Drive at 5. Of course, brought to you by the Blaze Alexander family of dealerships, Tussie Mountain of Bullsburg, and of course, the Arena Bar and Grill, 1521 Martin Street in State College, where tonight, week number two of the Battle of the Bands at the Arena Bar and Grill. Of course, uh, action kicks off 8 o'clock tonight. And uh, 21 and over admitted only 5 bucks gets you in for it. Four great bands coming through the area, one of which is with me right now from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. They made the trip up here to hang out on Quick Rock and also be a part of the Battle of the Bands. I'm talking about Medusa's Disco. Guys, welcome to the show. hey Thank you. Oh, it's going great. Thank you once again for uh, taking the time. Let's uh, let's all go on down the line. Let's have you guys introduce yourselves, uh, what instruments you play, and uh, all that good stuff. I'm Alex. Uh, I play the drums. All right, Alex. I'm Winton. I play guitar and sing. Good to meet you, Winton. My name is Hunter. I also play guitar and sing. I'm Jay. I play bass and back. Oh, we got Jay, the new bassist. Jay's also, yes, the newest member uh, of the band. So tell us about Medusa's Disco. How long have you guys been around, and uh, what else? We've been together for probably four and a half, almost five years. Let's see. I kind of brought everyone together, and now we're uh, getting ready to depart with our current bassist. We're playing one last show with him at the Chameleon Club, March 31st. Really pumped for that one. Uh, We just started working with Jay. We played two shows with him so far. One in New York and the other in Vermont. Both were stellar times. Oh, he does such a great job. Let's see, what else What else should I say about Medusa's disco? We're like, we're like if Medusa were to make disco music, uh, it would sound like nothing like that, but it's a cool <laughs> name. <laughs> Where did the name come from, I, I must ask? Because it is a unique one. It's actually a, a song name of ours. Uh, off of our second album, Fork Tongue Fables. It's the very first song on the track. Um, I guess I just... I think I came up with it, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I came, you up, came with up with it. Song name. Yeah. Then we all agreed to make the band name. Yeah, we when we uh we used to be called Seeds, and we went through so many names trying to like change the name because there's so many bands with that name in it, and it's a copyrighted name. So you know we're going through like different songs eventually. Like, hmm, would this make a good band name? You know, Faceplant Attitude that would have made a cool band name. Oh, I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, Medusa's Disco. Yeah, we went with that instead. Medusa's Disco. If you could describe uh, your musical style or uh, some of your influences uh, that got you guys to, to what you're doing right now uh, with Medusa's Disco, uh, tell us about it. Well, um, when we explain what we sound like to people, we usually say psychedelic grunge. Okay. Um, but how, as far as how the band sounds um, and the influences is pretty, uh, pretty mixed between each member. Um, I think... I, I have a more like traditional rock style. Winton has a, like a psychedelic, weird inspired guitar playing, especially with his sitar because he plays sitar. Oh, you know, awesome! Acoustic side, which is a whole other thing with the violinist. Fruit from Vitamus Planet, acoustic EP. That's fantastic. Alex has a very like metal background, where like he's just raging on drums the whole time. People often think you're an animal. <laughs> and and Jay, um, progressive. Jay's got a nice attack bass oh, that, yeah. that we liked. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, as far as his influences, I guess I don't really know. <laughs> Says that some of the bands here that uh, you guys, are obviously, with some of the things you mentioned, Queens of the Stone Age, Led Zepp, uh, some bands that have influenced you. Also, the Butthole Surfers as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah? yeah? That's one of my uh, first bands I attached to as a younger boy. Electric, Electric Larry Land is, uh, is a fantastic album. It is. Uh, it, it, it was a staple in my collection uh, in my high school years. That's, nice. a, that's, a, great, that's a great choice. I got into uh, Independent Worm Saloon. That's the one John Paul Jones from Led Zeppelin oh, yeah. recorded. Produced, I should say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, also, you guys have played in many other places. Now, you're from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, of course. But you've played in other places in and around Pennsylvania, as well as Delaware, New Jersey, Maryland, New York, as well as other places. Tell us about it. Well, we just got back from tour to Austin, Texas, and back. So some of the new places we never hit before was, like I said earlier, Vermont. We never played Vermont before. Let's see. We hit Virginia, uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. Birmingham, Alabama, Austin, Texas, and then Houston. And we got a lot more upcoming places we're going to play that we've never played before either. It's really just a year for travel for us. I'm very excited. 
That is really exciting. What was it like going down that far to do a gig in, you know, a band from Lancaster going uh, to do a show down in Austin, Texas? It felt right. It felt, it felt right. right. Yeah, it felt yep, we've worked a long time to get to this point and do it right. And I just got to say, it, I really feel like we knocked it out of the ballpark. Played to hundreds upon hundreds of people, and they just, they loved it. We connected with them. They connected with us. Yeah, actually, going down to Austin was really interesting because we weren't sure, like, how we would fit in because we're kind of, like, we write weird music. We're kind of weird people. But then, like... It turns out like South by just like embraces weird, so it, it just it panned out. That was actually my next question. You guys answered it perfectly. I was going to ask how you know how was it received? How how did they uh, how they treat you down uh, in Texas? And it seems like by by the look on your faces, it seems like it was a great time. Well, All right, well I'm, I gotta bring it up. There's one show. The last show we played for Red Gorilla Fest. Um, we're playing in this bar, and it's like kind of like. Mm, I don't know, how do I describe it? I guess it's kind of like a really basic people kind of scene. Like, people listen to trap music and stuff like that. Okay. And we're, like, watching the band before us. Like, hmm, how are we going to fit in here? Like, what kind of music can we play that's going to reach out to this audience? Mm -hmm. um, long story short, I played the show in my underwear, and uh, everyone was raging out to it, and it's pretty awesome. If you go on our Facebook, you can watch the video. <laughs> Medusa's Disco Facebook, Winton Underwear. <laughs> Fantastic. That's going to be a huge draw. No wonder <laughs> you guys were received so well there. So um, we're going to talk with him in just a few more minutes. Uh, we should probably get to some music. What do you think? Let's do it. You guys want to hear a new yeah. song off the record? All right. Let's tell, uh, tell us real quick about this, uh, this album. What's it called? Ooh, it's called Ripe. We're releasing it online April 2nd um, on Bandcamp, iTunes, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to have... It for sale March 31st at the Chameleon Club, so you can make sure you stop by and get a copy. This song is called Otherwise. Tell us about it. Uh, where, where did this song come, uh, come about? Otherwise, it's kind of, when you hear it, it kind of has like a really punk rock influence or something like that. I don't know. But um, it's definitely really upbeat, and it's, it's, it's hard to, des to describe. It's unique in its way. Yeah, it's hard to describe what it sounds like. It's more like a moment in time mm -hmm. for, for myself at that point. I was listening to it earlier before you guys came in, and uh, yeah, it's it, it's different, but uh, it, it does got that kind of punk feel to it, as well as some other genres. It seems like you guys have uh, blended together, and uh, we're going to play it right now, so you want to go ahead and intro it for us, Winton? This next song is called Otherwise by Medusa's Disco. And it's right here only on 105.9 Quick Rock. <laughs> I'm laughing, that's what I always say. You guys are having fun, aren't you? Oh, nice. It's uh, Medusa's Disco, otherwise, right here on Quick Rock. I like that song, man. It's pretty cool. It's, it's, I can't, I, it, we were talking about this before we went in the air. It's hard to describe it, it's hard to classify it as something, but for what it is, it works and it rocks. I dig it. Thank you. We're excited to finally uh, release it to the public eye. We've had it available at shows the last couple shows, but. Now we finally have hard copies to put in people's hands and online as well. Now, uh, will, uh, will people at the battle be hearing that one tonight? Hmm, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. yeah you got your, probably. You got your set list all good to go and stuff like that? It's in the material that Jay knows. So. Yep. Okay, so yeah. chances are you're probably going to be right, right. you're probably going to be playing it. Jay, come over here real quick. Come on up to this mic. I got I got to ask you a few questions real quick. So how long have you been playing? Uh, how long have you been playing bass for, man? Uh, I've actually only been playing bass since, like, September. Um, I, really? <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing for, like, five years, and I suck. <laughs> well, I, 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 I've been playing guitar for a real long time. And, okay. Um, yeah, you were talking about influences, and, I mean, I could say a whole bunch of bands that were huge influences on me, like, you know, Tool, uh, System of a Down, mm. Mars Volta. Lots of stuff um, that we play here on Quick Rock. Yeah, so, um, but when it comes to the bass, I, I get lessons off this guy named John Ferraro, who plays with this band, Consider the Source. Consider the Source is awesome. They're, uh, Amazing. Yeah, they're, they're, like, some of the craziest musicians you could ever hope to see or hear, so. Um, they have a lot of... Uh, East, like Middle Eastern influences and stuff like that. Oh, awesome! Um, and uh, John is a really great slap bassist, so um, that's something I have a lot of fun uh, you know, doing. Um, awesome! But yeah, so technically, bass, you know, six months or whatever. And, um, you would never guess. Right? Yeah, you would. So uh, you're enjoying your time so far as well. Oh, I love it. 
yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, this is, a, this is something I need in my life. So. Yeah. So, uh, all you guys, so uh, collectively, uh, with musical experience, how long have you guys, because uh, you guys are still pretty young. I mean, I see, Hunter, you're 21, dude. 22. 22 oh. still hey, oh. <laughs> still how long you been uh, how long have you been playing guitar for um 10 years 10 years since i was 12. wow yeah yeah wow and then and did you guys play how many people were band geek in high school hmm like like the band band like like people walking out to you but like either one whatever jazz band stage yeah, band concert in, band marching band i was in jazz band for one year i right did on. choir That's okay what I, did. I, I didn't do anything you didn't do anything yeah we know alex <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll just... That was kind of creepy, but we'll leave it at that. <laughs> so, um, guys, what's uh, what's coming up next for, for uh, Medusa's Disco after after the Battle of the Bands for tonight? Let's see. We got some other shows I want to, you know, push here. We got a show with Randy and Leahy from the Trailer Park Boys. We're playing with them in Millersburg. Really? At a VFW, April 7th. Put on by Crystal of Peace of Mind, which Peace of Mind Fest is... What was that August 31st we're playing to September 3rd is the festival. Really pumped for that. People's Blues Richmond is on it. I believe Consider the Source is as well. You guys got to check out Consider the Source. They're just... Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh. So some great local stuff. Yep. Know, and we're doing, up on the a, doing a tour in July to like Florida, let's see, Chicago, all those places. September, we're going to the West Coast. I've always wanted to go to California. It's really Never pumped been? for that. Never been. It's Okay. <laughs> 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 if you if you like water, it's not so great. I do like getting a little moist. You know, water is you know it's a, no it's nice. We're in a, we're in California. Got to be heading to uh whatever we can book. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get to LA. We're gonna try to run into Ty Seagull. <laughs> you know what yeah, you should do. You um, since you guys are such music heads, um, if you get out that way, if you get out to LA, Hollywood, that area, check out uh, Amoeba Music. You guys Ooh, heard of that record store? Yeah, we have heard. Best Dicey record store there. I've yeah. ever been to in my life. Looks pretty big. Oh, it's huge. Yeah. Like, saying it's huge doesn't do it justice. They have so much stuff there. That's it's exciting. unbelievable. Vinyl, CDs, DVDs, collectibles. It's so cool. I was blown away. I was like, I was a little under the influence when I walked in. I was a little <laughs> drunk. And I'm like, where's your Metallica, dude? And they had <laughs> so much Metallica vinyl, I couldn't even believe it. Nice. We love vinyl. We're hopefully going to be getting vinyl sometime this really? year for, for our new album, Fantastic. right? Fantastic. I love that resurgence of how you know vinyl's really been uh, you know making its way uh, back in in the yep, recent yep. years. I love it's it, too. It, 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 still, I mean, you got MP3, you got CD, you have cassette. It is still the best format, I think. I mean, it really gives you the best sound and i think that your band would be perfect for it oh i know especially this album it was just like made for it so this album once again is called uh what is it called again right okay and if they want more information about you guys online where can they find you we got a facebook we also got medusa's disco.com we got a uh, instagram uh medusa's disco we got twitter we never check it we never check twitter but we neither do it. i <laughs> don't do it it exists it exists we have it is your picture still the egg on Twitter? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. I haven't checked. <laughs> Maybe you should check. Them. All of our upcoming shows you can check on our site, medusasdisco.com, and our Facebook as well. Perfect. And uh, we're really excited to have you guys in town. Uh, and you guys are going on first tonight at the Battle of the Bands, correct? Woohoo! Warm up the night. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I think. I mean, that's. Well, I don't know if that's the order. Is that the order, Darlene? It is. 8 p.m. Oh, 8 o'clock. I'm totally cool. Tonight. Don't be late, guys. 8 p.m. Yeah, so make sure to check it out at the Arena Bar and Grill, 1521 Martin Street in State College. Guys, I got to say, it's been a pleasure uh, meeting you, it sitting has. down with you, Same. learning about your yeah. band. You guys are fun dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. It's just been great. Um, and we hope that uh, this won't be your your last uh, uh, trip up here uh, to State College. We hope that we're going to be uh, seeing you again very soon. Tune in next Tuesday and we'll interview him. <laughs> 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 that I'd be all right with. You know, take a little pressure off of me. I've actually never really been interviewed in that context before, so that might be interesting. Be yeah. So, uh, guys, again, you know, Winton, Hunter, Jay, and Alex. Guys, thank you so much for coming in, spending some time with Quick Rock, talking to everybody out there, and best of luck tonight at the Battle of the Bands. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you, Bob or er, Andy. <laughs> People call hey, me Rob. It's happened. <laughs>